Scroll Staff Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Fake News by Scroll Staff Published yesterday 5.41 p.m. Your Coke Facebook on Thursday said it had begun fact-checking photos and videos to curb the spread of fake news on the social media network, Reuters reported. The development comes while Facebook faces huge criticism for the spread of fake news on the platform, for the use of the network to manipulate elections, and the most recent Ferrari over Cambridge Analytica, the British firm accused of using the information of 50 million Facebook users to help the campaign of US President Donald Trump. Facebook began the fact-checking exercise on Wednesday in France with the help of news agency AFP. Product manager Tessa Lyons said they will expand the project to more countries and partners soon. The exercise is part of efforts to fight false news around elections, she said. Lyons did not specify the criteria Facebook or AAFP used to check the veracity of the photos and videos they looked over. She did not mention how much a photo could be edited before it is deemed fake. In March 2017, the company had launched a new function to help mark fake news as disputed on the website. The new tool was meant to help identify websites and sources that are likely to put out misinformation. It uses fact-checkers such as PolitiFact and Snoke to identify false news. There has been widespread speculation that voters in the U.S. were swayed by fake news on social media that had pushed them to vote for Trump in the 2016 presidential election. Facebook and Google were accused of helping mislead voters by allowing the spread of misinformation on their websites. Support our journalism by subscribing to Scroll here. We welcome your comments at letters at scroll.in. Facebook social media fake news fact-checking sponsored content by published March 22, 2018 3 12 p.m. Share tweet email Reddit print share tweet email Reddit print before dinner fashionable women would retire to the powder room and suited up men would indulge in hors d'oeuvres, surrounded by plush upholstery. A gourmet meal would soon follow, served in fine tableware. Flying, back in the day, was like an upscale party 35,000 feet up in the air. The glamour of flying has been chronicled in Keith Lovegrove's book titled, Airline, Style at 30,000 Feet. In his book, Lovegrove talks about how the mid-50s and 60s were a fabulously glamorous time to fly in commercial airlines. Back then, flying was reserved for the privileged and the luxuries played an important role in making traveling by air an exclusive experience. Fast forward to the present day, where flying has become just another mode of transportation. In Mumbai, every 65 seconds an aircraft lands or takes off at the airport. The condition of today's air travel is a cumulative result of the growth in the volume of flyers, the accessibility of buying an air ticket and the number of airlines in the industry market. Having relegated the romance of flying to the past, air travel today is close to hectic and borderline chaotic thanks to busy airports, packed flights with no legroom and unsatisfactory meals. With the skies dominated by frequent flyers and the experience having turned merely transactional and mundane, is it time to bid goodbye to whatever is enjoyable in air travel? With increased resources and better technology, one airline is proving that flying in today's scenario can be a refreshing, enjoyable and affordable experience at the same time. Vistara offers India's first and only experience of a three-cabin configuration. At a nominal premium, Vistara's premium economy is also redefining the experience of flying with a host of features such as an exclusive cabin, 20% extra legroom, 4.5-inch recline, dedicated check-in counter and baggage delivery on priority. The best-in-class in-flight dining offers a range of regional dishes, while also incorporating global culinary trends. Other industry first features include Starbucks coffee on board and special assistance to solo women travelers, including preferred seating. Vistara's attempts to reduce the gap between affordability and luxury can also be experienced in the economy class with an above-average seat pitch, complimentary selection of food and beverages and a choice of leading newspapers and publications along with an in-flight magazine. Hospitality aboard Vistara is, moreover, reminiscent of Singapore Airlines' famed service with the seal of Tata's trust thanks to its cabin crew trained to similarly high standards. The era of style aboard a flying boat seems long gone. However, airlines like Vistara are bringing back the allure of air travel. Continuing their campaign with Deepika Padukone as brand ambassador, the new video delivers a bolder and a more confident version of the same message, making flying feel new again. Watch the new Vistara video below. For your next trip, rekindle the joy of flying and book your tickets here. This article was provided by the Scroll marketing team on behalf of Vistara and not by the Scroll editorial team.